What's up guys? So I know y'all been waiting on some training videos, so we got one for you. Uh, Josh and I are going up to a place we run, um, usually later in the fall. We usually hunt it, but we're going up there to train because it's been really hot here in West Virginia the last two weeks. It's been in the 90s. Um, so we don't run our dogs when it's that hot. It's just, it's just you got to worry about them overheating and a lot of other stuff. So we don't fool with it when it's hot. But up there, it's higher elevation, a lot cooler. And so um, we're going to go up there and run. It's supposed to rain, which will help a little bit as long as it don't get too muggy. But uh, loading the dogs up. As you can see, I just let them out there. They're running around like wild guys. Uh, going to get them loaded up. I don't know. I don't think you all have met. So I, I like to keep you all up to date with my pack. I don't think y'all know Leo or Ranger. You know Tron, you saw him in December. He was just, he was young. He was on the rise. He was making races and everything, but now he's my my stud dog, my lead dog. He, uh, I ain't hunting Bliss right now. So I'm just hunting these three. They're all males. I got Tron, Leo, and Ranger. Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all get to know them a little bit better this weekend. Fueling up. Finally got Josh out of the house. Been waiting on him all day. Gonna chase some bars. Picked up one of our new interns. What's up? You gonna let us know what your name is, dude? <laughs> Austin. There you go. Uh, you, you might as well get used to it. You might have a camera in your face. Oh, 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 oh. Tell Bud to put me in ground. I was getting ready to say, you know the old man's grumpy. Well, I have finally got back on the road. I was in Walmart, had to wait a big storm out, and uh, had to get us some snacks, had to get a few. Wouldn't have gone in Walmart to a crazy daggone place if uh, I had to get Kirk a washcloth and a towel and our new intern. Of course, he's not prepared already. Uh, they forgot their stuff at the house. And then Kirk had to request some special adult beverage, some type of fruity IPA some stuff i don't know what it is it it's uh it's that weird beer so on the road now and they're up ahead of me waiting for me to pass by so they can fall in behind and headed to camp all right guys it's uh training season up north Got the uh, dogs loaded up. We're waiting to head out. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Should be a killer day for the dogs to run. Uh, it's probably somewhere in the low to mid 60s and it rained last night, so it's really cool. Uh, so it should, be a, it should be a really good morning to run and it's uh, great weather. So here's, hey. Ah! <laughs> so here's Kirk. He's delivering some sandwiches. Got the food ready, boys. Yeah. So we're going to compliment some Mark. Yeah. Some reason Mark Park packed sandwiches, so that means we're going to be out longer than lunchtime. I think it's just breakfast. Oh, is it breakfast? Oh, it's egg it's sandwiches. Egg sandwiches. You went cheese. Oh, he made he made egg sandwiches. You went cheese or no cheese? I don't care. Put here. Don't matter to me. I don't know. I can't. I'll eat anything. Jake was about 100 yards ahead of me there and he rigged. He cut a couple dogs loose and I cut Tron and Leo loose and they're rolling, sounds good. We got five in there. Right, real quick. The dogs are, uh, looks like they're crossing about 400 yards up here ahead of us. We're gonna miss it crossing, but as soon as- they going, Jake? I've run them right along the road out here. Had them just cross. They're ripping. Blow the road above the road. Blow the road. Crowd him down. Don't let him back up across there. Roger. They're running like right in the road.
rolling. Kind of, I don't know what yours done. I kind of stuttered back there a little bit though. Yeah. That, turn that, turn that truck off. Kind of like overrun the track. Did he? Ammo stays on the track pretty good. They're kind of hanging back up again, keep it down in there. I see him there, Jake. Right there, right there, did you get it? Yeah. The bear just crossed the road right here, Jake. It just crossed the road. Bump up! Bam! You good? Yeah. All right, so the bear crossed there. I think he got it on video. He had the camera pointing forward, so. Uh, they crossed and they dumped the rest of the box on it. They got some help in there. Uh, his dog Gunner and Tron were about 20 yards behind it, which is pretty good. And they got a bunch of help, fresh help. So I'm waiting to catch Leo. Him and a few of his dogs got mixed up right there. We're going to get them caught up and then figure out how we can get over there to them. All right, guys, so I got kind of western there. Uh, bear came out of the tree. Of course, the dogs jumped on it. Rain a little bit. Then they, uh, you know, they caught it on the ground. So then we had to try to grab it. We got all the dogs pulled off of it eventually. Uh, that was Austin's first tree. I think he was in shock a little bit. I know I was. But uh, he helped grab the dogs. And we grabbed it. We got them all to the truck and got them loaded up. Leo, my seven-month-old, he got a little ballsy and didn't know any better and he went up and grabbed the bear and it got him on the nose we'll show you all that uh, but he's good he's uh he's fine it just put a little couple holes in his his top of his nose there but we'll get him treated when we get back to the house sounds like josh and them mark and them uh got one going so we're gonna get caught up with him it's been wild so far Right well, yeah, they just pulled up tree. Got everything cut into them, and we're making our way over there. They just now. I ain't tracking one of my dogs on GPS. I don't know what what's a blocking them or what. But we're making our way around through there, and Mark just hollered and said they pulled up tree. So we're going to head that way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so got most of the dogs rounded up. There's quite a few people hunting with us today, more than I, I knew. And uh, they got another one going. So, um, as y'all saw, the bear came out of the tree there. They treated again. We didn't make it into that tree, but they pulled all the dogs off. And now we're going to go help. I got one going, and it seems like a runner, so we're going to try to get cut into it and see if we can't put it up a tree. It's 11, and it's, uh, it's 68 degrees. It was a little bit cooler up on the mountain. We're gonna get over here and get this last one treat. It's been an awesome day. We thought maybe they try to, the bear try to pull that hillside, but it's gutted. And uh, they pulled up tree down in the holler there. So hopefully they got it in the tree and they're not fighting it down in the creek or something. So we got a kind of a long way around there to them. We're gonna try to get in there to them. Just got a bark indicator. Walker. Walker dog, you got much to do good though. make it into the last tree of the day probably not gonna be much footage here because we're gonna grab the dogs as quick as we can get them tied back in case it comes out because they've all been wanting to come out it's probably 1230 or 1 so we don't want another race but we've had an awesome day can't beat it hope y'all are enjoying these All right, guys, so that'll do it. Uh, we got back to the trucks, got the dogs loaded up. Had a pretty good day. Um, you can't beat, can't beat hunting in this cooler weather, a lot cooler than what we're used to. Like I said earlier, it's been in the 90s down there where we live, and uh, it's pretty much in the 60s all morning. It's up, up in the 70s now, but heck, it's almost 4 o'clock. I know we didn't plan to run that long, but uh, just the way it worked out. And, we treat as a group, you know, everybody we're hunting with, we, we treat four bears today. So that's pretty cool. But I think Josh is up here at the camp. We'll get up here and uh, get the dogs fed and watered and everybody taken care of. Uh, and uh, then um, I believe we're going to make some dinner. So day one was pretty fun. <laughs>